Hi guys, it's Taya and I'm back again with another Sam's discussion video. Do you guys remember that shopping cart icon that caused a huge uproar over on Sam's Twitter? What if I told you we could be getting more of such items? Well now, our favorite CEO, Andrew Wilson from Electronic Arts is saying that we may see more in-game ads in the coming years. The sole purpose of these ads is to promote products and not just DLC, but also outside products as this picture clearly shows a bag of Doritos and a bottle of Sprite. So yeah, they are taking it to the next level. But before we get too worked up, Let's read the article. Electronic Arts, the publisher of most sports games on the market, and as we all know, The Sims is considering putting ads inside its video games as another source of revenue because apparently they need more. This isn't the first time the company has done this, but given how poorly it's done in the past, I'm surprised EA is still giving it a thought. News of this came from the company's May 7th earnings call. This was part of the company's financial reports, which I actually talked about in my previous video, but was mostly concentrating on the 15 new content releases. CEO Andrew Wilson was asked about dynamic ad insertion within games, and he thought it was a possible source of cash outflow for the company. Wilson said EA sees advertising as a possible meaningful driver of growth, but wants to be thoughtful about, about how ads could be implemented into its games. His full quote on the matter reads as follows. I think it's still early on that front. And we have looked over the course of our history to be very thoughtful about advertising in the context of our play experiences. But again, as we think about the many, many billions of hours spent both playing, creating, watching and connecting, and where much of that engagement happens to be on the bounds of a traditional game experience, our expectation is that advertising has an opportunity to be a meaningful driver of growth for us. We will be very thoughtful as we move into that. We have teams internally in the company right now looking at how do we do very thoughtful implementation inside our game experiences. But more importantly, as we start to build community and harness the power of community beyond the bounds of our games, how do we think about advertising as a good driver in those experiences? So it's not just that they are considering the idea, they already have teams working on it. Come to think of it, will this be implemented in Project Renee? Because there hasn't been any confirmation that it will even be in the Sims, since we already have our own forms of adver advertisement, you know, that's annoying shopping carts. But is this an indication that there is more to come? Comment down below your thoughts on the matter. According to another article, in-game ads are a natural progression of advertising, especially as the gaming industry is expected to go to over $583 billion by 2023. Some players deem it a distraction, but others accept it as a fact of life as long as the ads are placed naturally. Personally, I don't mind ads as long as they are not interrupting my gameplay every few minutes. Like, if I wanted to buy that, I would, you wouldn't have to tell me twice. Unfortunately, EA has had a few instances of poor in-game ads. Like in 2020, the company placed full-screen in-game ads for the TV show The Boys in UFC 4. Oh, I kind of love that show. It was like very unique. Like, it's not every day they make a movie about people, you know heroes who are like secretly bad guys and all that but anyway back to the article obviously the player base poorly received this placement especially as it disrupted the game and caused serious backlash and ea removed the ad like what the hell were they thinking hopefully they never try something like that in the sims games honestly i think they are most likely to try this whole advertisement system in their sports games but just because I don't play EA sports games doesn't mean I support this. And also, if this is successful, I'm sure they'll definitely implement it in The Sims, which is a major franchise. So it seems there are already other gaming companies doing this. However, most of these in-game ads are placed on billboards by the side of the road. I do think a carefully thought out approach to this, this whole advertisement saga might actually work. But EA has been known to be greedy and often get sloppy in their work. Previously, EA used collabs as a form of advertisement, like the Moschino collab in Sims 4 and various collab items in the game. Should we expect the next content releases to be collabs? 
So anyway, I'm going to wrap this up here. Like I said, comment down below your thoughts on collapse and do you support the idea of collapse as a form of advertisement? Also, do you think there will be collapse in the 15 new packs we are getting in the next 12 months? Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do that for me. With that said, I hope you guys all enjoyed. I hope you're having an amazing day. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.